to games.com here and today we're at the Nature and Science Museum for the women in STEAM event. It was really, really awesome last year so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have this year. So back here they have a little thing for little bits and since we're doing those for the DreamWorks video, I'm really excited to see what they're doing here and it might give us a couple ideas for the video. So there are lots and lots of little bits here. Um, there's actually a buzzer one which we found that I've never seen before which is really, really cool. I'm really excited to start playing around since they have so many I'm super duper excited for it. A colleague of ours developed this box. So it takes the software package, you have a projector and then an Xbox Connect. And so as the kids are playing in the sandbox and changing the topography of the sand, it's the camera and the Xbox is taking measurements of that and then you're updating real time the projection of that map onto the sand. So it's just white sand in here, the color just comes from the projector and the image that it's projecting. Okay, so we're at this like green screen where you can take a picture of being an engineer at different places. Uh, we chose to be in the lab and we came with lab goggles, so this is currently what's happening. It's because I, ha I want to be able to see a little bit, so I have my glasses on. This looks so weird. Wanna see this one on picture? In. All of the toothpicks are bugs. You have 10 seconds to hunt. You can compete with each other, but you can't steal the bugs out of each other's stomachs. Okay, and no fighting and no biting. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Good job. Good job. Keep hunting. Five more seconds. with tweezers instead of the tongs. That would be so much easier. That might be easier, right? So the type of bird and the bill that you have is also adapted to your environment. So I just played this game where we had these little tongs and there were three different environments and you were a bird and you hunted for things. And it was really cool because they were talking about how their how birds would adapt to their habitat and um, what colors the bugs wanted to be if they lived in certain habitats. And it was really interesting and really fun. I got like four actual toothpicks, which are the bugs, but I would have done really well if rocks counted because I ate like seven. Okay, so uh, we're doing this wingspan thing, and according to how long our wingspan is, um, we get a certain type of bird to my arms, right? Um, but I am apparently a ferruginous hawk, and I'm really excited. I like hawks. I wanted a pet hawk for a long time. So this is a really, really amazing day. We had a bunch of fun. There's all sorts of really cool stations that you can do. Please come and please check it out. It is absolutely amazing. Check it out next year. Check it out every year. They had different buttons this year, so... I'm thinking maybe one year, if they keep doing this like every year, um, one year I'll just have my shirt and it'll be covered in all the buttons from the past ones. That would be pretty fun, but it was super duper amazing and I highly recommend all of you check it out. So if you don't live in Colorado, check out the Nature and Science Museum that's close to you and see if they do something similar. Uh, maybe they do an event that's similar to this and I'd love to hear about ones all around the world if they do it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.